It's safe to say that Elementor has changed the WordPress page builder landscape in its pretty short lifespan. Now, while I love what it offers, it's not perfect. In this video, I want to talk about some of the features that I would love to see in future updates, how I would like to see Elementor develop and touch upon some of the things that just frustrate me. Now, this video is certainly not to moan about Elementor or the developers behind it, but rather to take a critical and constructive look at the current version and what that brings with it. My name is Paul C and this is my take on the perfect Elementor. Now, before I dive in, what I'd love you to do is tell me in the comments section below what would make your perfect Elementor and what frustrates you the most about Elementor right now. Obviously, current update issues to Elementor 3.0 aside. So let's start off with a massive change that I just don't see happening, but would have loved to have seen Elementor being originally developed in this direction to provide a more flexible structure and reduce that potential bloat. How about creating a version called Elementor Core that contains the core functionality of Elementor Pro? So things like theme styles, global fonts and colors, dynamic tags, layout features, etc. But separating the non-essential widgets from Elementor Core and then connecting those via the API in much the same way that third-party developers do to extend Elementor right now. Now, why I think this would have been a really exciting way of making Elementor Pro a great tool is that it would allow for easy extensibility of the core functionality and make it much simpler to disable unused widgets in the same way that many third-party plugins do. This would help lighten the loading times, reduce the bloat, and simply allow us to easily pick and choose the tools that we wanted for any given project. Now, while I very much doubt that this is something that would ever happen because it's way too far in the development to go back and start over with a completely different architecture, I think it would have provided an awesome framework to create a more modular version of Elementor and help with those teething problems as the platform grows and expands. Now I've had the time to fully test the newly updated global colors and fonts, along with the more unified design tools included in the theme styles, I can't help but feel that the next logical step is to have widget presets. So, for example, let's say you've applied some global styling to a particular button, and then you make some widget level changes to that button. The only way you can currently apply that new styling to another button is to go through the hassle of right-clicking the original design, copy, and then paste the style one at a time. Now, how much better would it be to simply be able to create a new widget style in the same way that you can with global styling and theme styles? For me, I think that'd be a game changer. Now, I know you can make global widgets, but that still kind of feels clunky, and I would much rather have an option to simply choose the widget and have an easy way to save or create global widget preset styles that I can apply quickly to my widgets and have them change globally if I update that master widget style. Now, following on from widget presets, I would love to see a single option on each page or template to reset the styles on that page but also an option to reset styles for the entire site. Now at present, moving from a 2.x design to a 3.x design and the new unified global design tools means that any widget with its own styling will retain that styling and to remove it, you need to select each widget, choose right click, then the option to reset the style. That to me is a complete nightmare and absolute time suck. Could you imagine having a site with hundreds of pages, having to reset every widget to be able to pick up your new global styles and theme styles? You spend as much time doing that as you would to build the site from scratch. Now, I know this isn't such an issue with theme or template files as they are potentially being used globally, but it is still a total nightmare scenario. And in my opinion, if you introduce global styling, the intended purpose is to streamline and centralize your design process. In that case, you need a quick and realistic way of resetting existing styles and apply your new styles to your site without a huge level of manual interaction. Oh yeah, and while we're on the subject, it should also have an undo button or the ability to export the current styling so you can easily reload that in the case of an issue without the need to run a full backup of your site. Now, how counterintuitive does it feel to have to manually enter values for margins and padding on a given section or widget? Look at Divi, Brizzy, or even Oxygen Builder, and they all have well-integrated, draggable margins and padding tools. Yes, I know there are some third-party add-ons for Elementor that add this type of functionality, but this is my perfect Elementor, so just humor me on this one. 
Now, while this feature doesn't sound like anything that's important, just imagine how much time you would save over a year of building and editing sites where you want to roughly just eyeball the spacing without having to manually type in the values until you get exactly what you want. Now tell me that wouldn't provide a not inconsiderable amount of time saving, but make the design process more organic and visual in nature. Now surely that is the le next logical addition to the core design feature set on offer in Elementor. Now while we're on the topic of global styles and theme styles, etc., what happened to the ability to make several theme styles and save and export them? Now, I'm pretty sure that when the theme styles option was first introduced in version two, it also allowed you to export them and make more than one. Now I know that you could do this with the style kits plugin and let's be honest, it was a pretty cool idea. So why not have the ability to have multiple styles available and an easy option in the editor to simply switch them out. You could easily create starter style sets that could be loaded into any new site you create as an initial starting point for future projects. Things like font groupings, basic layouts, color combinations, and a load of other super useful time-saving features that would make the new global styling and theme styles tools way, way more powerful. Now, while we're on the topic, how cool would it be to be able to create a design color palette and font sets and then simply export them as a JSON file and be able to load them into future projects to speed up the setting up and the whole design fundamental stage. Now also, I've started using a template that has the default theme style elements laid out so I can easily set up those values and see those changes in real time to ensure that I'm happy with font size relationships, etc. Now, why not have this theme style preview option available as part of Elemental itself? As this step should realistically be the first phase of your design, it makes perfect sense to me to see those changes on the page in front of me. In fact, the first thing I did when they introduced theme styles was to create this template and export it and then upload it to the WPTAT's Facebook group to share with everybody. It just simply makes the whole design process more organic, easier and quicker than creating them blind or creating pages and then applying global styling afterwards. Now this is less of a want and more of a what I see in the near future type of thing and something that I would love to get your input and feedback on. I think if there was an easy way to save and export theme styles and global options alongside the theme builder tools, we could easily share these via a centralized marketplace. So imagine the ability to store your designs and related assets in the cloud and not only have a really easy way of loading them back into your site or other sites that are set up as part of your Elementor account, but also be able to share them. To me, it's a pretty logical next step to make those designs available to others either for free or for a small nominal fee. This marketplace could be a great source of inspiration and potential income for talented Elementor designers. So do you think this is something you could see happening and maybe even becoming involved in? Let me know in the comment section below. Some of my most popular recent tutorials are on third-party plugins that allow you to easily redesign the checkout and cart pages of WooCommerce. And while these tools are great, I do still feel that this is one of those areas that Elementor has neglected. We can design the archive and the product pages and with a little creativity, even redesign the WooCommerce account section. Tutorials on all of this are linked in the description below if you'd like to check them out. But why are they simply not bothered to provide the second half of the design tools, the checkout and the card pages? Sadly, this is a trend that I've seen happen time and time again with Elementor, and this isn't just a bash on them. But why so many half-baked features? You wouldn't buy a car with two of the four wheels missing, would you? Even if you knew that in 12 to 18 months, they'd probably send you the other two wheels, or you could just simply go to a third party wheel seller and buy those two extra wheels until your car manufacturer decided, well, that those extra wheels were probably pretty useful to your driving experience. Yes, it's a bit of a strange analogy, I guess, but you kind of get my point, I hope. I guess my message here is to stop adding features that are only half baked, fully realize them, then release them. Because let's be honest, most of us don't care too much about shiny bells and whistles. We want solid tools that make the design process painless, functional, and reduce our need and reliance upon third-party add-ons. Now, while we're on the subject of half-baked features, we need to talk a little about dynamic conditions and conditional logic. If you do any kind of design work with Elementor and tools like ACF or Advanced Custom Fields, you'll know that while you can create amazing designs, there are times where some data that you input is purely optional and you need to only display that data if 
the section isn't empty. So why would you leave out any type of conditional logic to manage that regular eventuality? To me, and many others based upon the feedback I get, is a very real requirement for the professional work. Now I know there are some great free plugins out there that will fill that gap, but this is a justification that I hear, well, simply too often. We shouldn't need to patch those holes with third-party tools, free or otherwise, that make core design functions usable in the real world. Plus, it means it's yet another plugin that needs to be updated and maintained and can fail when Elemental release an update, something that many early adopters of Elemental 3.x can absolutely attest to right now. Now, for anyone who's seen some of my videos on dynamic content using Elemental, you can't help but have noticed that I use Elemental Custom Skin a lot to create custom WordPress loops and while I love the plugin, I would much rather see that functionality baked directly into Elemental. Sure, we have a couple of designs to choose from an Elemental's post widget, and we can refine those designs with a ton of options, but we can't include our own custom data into that loop. We can only enable and disable a range of predefined options, and that simply means when you combine Elemental Pro with something like Pods or ACF, you simply can't add any of your custom meta fields to your posts or product loop. Yet again, this hampers the ability to get as creative as you absolutely need to when building more advanced websites, especially listing type websites with WordPress and Elementor. And again, I know that we can employ all manner of amazing plugins to expand beyond the core functionality of Elemental Pro, and that is an amazing feature in and of itself but it doesn't change the fact that tools like this are more useful to more users than lotty animations and loads of other features that have been prioritized to offer a wow factor over tools and features that many, many paying users want and need to fulfill their daily design duties. Now finally, I'll add the obligatory honorable mention of additional breakpoints to make testing designs on both landscape and portrait devices but let's be honest here, everyone already knows this is another must-have feature that's been overlooked in favor of bells and whistles for far too long. Anyway, enough of my bemoaning of the missing features. What are your must-have missing features in Elemental and what would you absolutely love to see added in to make your perfect version of Elemental? Let me know in the comments section and hopefully, as always, all the applicable links for everything covered are in the description below. My name's been Paul C, this has been WP Tuts, and until next time, Take care.